And what are the lessons that you can glean from your experience around new music that perhaps other parts of the sector can gain from your experience? Well, some internally focusing ones first. We did attempt to get buy-in from a range of staff who are going to take part in sound and music to audience development and marketing concepts, precepts. Um, we didn't entirely succeed in that. And unless you succeed in that, it's very difficult to actually um, really entrench audience development practice, marketing practice within your organisation in any coherent way. What you will have is producers doing their own thing, cutting across the marketing, assuming they know the audience in their way, or simply giving way to the partner and letting them find the audience without actually bringing any information back to you to nourish your own learning in terms of that audience. Uh, overcoming that kind of culture is difficult. Um, we didn't succeed. Um, maybe the organisation will succeed in future, but you have to succeed in that, I think, to actually make progress. Um, secondly, I think it's very important to have properly segmented data about your audience. Um, that said, you can't assume that the audience is a blanket one and can all be approached in some way. The sophistication that you require to actually uh, approach that audience in a different way takes time. You need very good CRM for that. That's difficult. It takes investment. It, it might require a collaborative effort for many organisations to actually bring that about, particularly for the new music sector. It'd be nice to think that that would happen. Um, I, I don't really see much signs of it happening, but it would be an ambition for the sector in future. Um, the third thing would be to take seriously uh, what audiences say about their experiences of going to the work. Um, they have very precise things to say about the way things are marketed or not marketed to them, about the way things are presented to them, particularly in events. And these are key learnings, particularly for new music, where things are often presented very much to the core audience, not to uh, the generality of audience. But even that core audience is often bluffing in terms of what they really know about the work that they're seeing and can be quite uncomfortable about the way that it's presented. So I think it is important to talk to uh, the audience in depth, in detail, and really take on board what they are saying about what they're seeing, what they're hearing, the venue that they're in, the feel they get around their event, whether they would bring anyone else to it, and so on and so forth. Otherwise, the audience will never grow.